first video of Monday the 8th of September 2020. I'm back over Banwell and I've just walked through the part of the village just to get an impression because I don't think I've really walked through it before. I've usually driven through it or got off at a bus <sighs> once I think I came over here. I might, might have cycled. I think I cycled here and had a quick look around the church a long time ago. Um, but from here, as you can see, look, there's a view of uh, Bama Wood. And of course, beyond that top there is the, well, on the top there is the hill fort. There's a king grave there. I always take note of any family names. Um, I always take note of any family names. So I thought I'd just, because the hill fort's there, I just will take a little video to incorporate a view of the hill fort. Um, because it is quite a, in a quite a commanding view there. And um, Oh, there's another king, Lorna Ann Jane King. She was only 48 when she died in 1996. Oh, like I said, my grandson Jack, his DNA is linked to kings. That's a nice little effect, isn't it? There, there's water there, look. And you never know where um, people are going to turn up. Really, you never really know. All right, I'm not going to go on the grass or anything. I'm just going to wander down here, get some more pictures of the hill fort. But while I'm here, because it's unlikely I'll keep popping back, it's very rare indeed. Um, for me to but I do scan graveyards just in case because I, I was in the middle of a huge Preston graveyard once when a very rare family name called Stibe appeared and they were, they were related to me I wasn't looking for Stibes at the time so Although obviously I knew that they were in Preston, but I hadn't hadn't crossed my mind when I was there to actually look for those. Right, so there's another view of the church there. There's the um, all that that there is the wood. That bit there, that cone shaped. That's the hill fort. Right, over right, now, I'm at the back of the church now. Like I was saying, I came here a long, long time ago. Could be as much as 13 years ago. I think I came here on my bike, and I never knew about William Beard then. I didn't know about the big stone on Banwell Hill, which had a ancient skeleton, unknown skeleton underneath. So I've just taken a lot of pictures of his bust. They've got a bust of him here and it's caged off, so it is of his value. It's of quite a lot of value to have him preserved like this. And there's something written on the back. Oh God, thou has something me from my youth and to there to have oh, I can't really re read it actually I'll have to take a picture of it the wondrous works now also when I am old and grey headed oh god forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto the general generation and thy power to everyone I have that is to come. 
Okay. I think it, I think it might be 71. Okay, I've got to take a picture of that as well then in a minute. I'm going to see if the church is open. I don't know if it will be. But yeah, I must make a note of that inscription. So there he is. Look, I've taken pictures of him up close. And I've also taken pictures of this in memory of William Beard of Four Cottage, Banwell, who died January... I can't quite read it. 18 something or other, aged 95 years. Also, Ruth Beard, his beloved, aged 74, buried. Yeah, so what I'm, what I'm saying is I can't um, quite read all that, but I have taken pictures of it. So there he is, look, remembered. I've got a picture of, as a, I found online of him as well. Right, I'll just turn off for a minute to take While a picture of While there's no one about. <sighs> William Beard, yeah. I um, went up to Bond Banwell Hill and found your big stone that you put up there. So there's a lot of history up there, isn't there? A lot of history, William. And you haven't been forgotten for your your words either. Yeah, so Beard. Sounds a very southwest name, doesn't it? Beard. I'll just have a look around at any others while I'm here. That might uh, surface when um And this had rails around it. They didn't take William Beards, if you notice, unless they put some more up after the war. Because all railings were removed during the war. Um, because they needed to melt them down for weapons, believe it or not. Can you believe that? Fowler. Thomas Fowler. Died 1864, age... Looks like 16. Also, George Fowler, who died 1878, age 39. It's a Fowler grave. Right, I'm going to see if I can get in the church in a minute. First of all... Oh yeah, Edward, Arthur Edward Beck, who died aged 69 in 1933. Just want to do a couple of views here. I think it's important if I'm doing Banwell Hill Fort and all that, to actually do a little bit about the church. Um, you know, I, I think that's, that's relevant. Like I said, I did it a long time ago. I can't... I, I'll probably try and find the... I'll try and find it. The, um... The, the DVD. I'll see if I can find it. a quick video in case somebody comes in. It's a lovely font with a lovely cap, isn't it? Oh, lovely ceiling. Right, I'm back on. Lovely red carpet. Lovely font with a lovely cap. There's lots of ribbons around. This is all to do with distancing because of the coronavirus event that's going on all around the world. 
um, distance in this happening. So they separate people, look. So you can't go in that one, but you can go in that one, things like that. And no one's allowed in the boxes because it would be too close. So if, it, like I say, this, this event is affecting everybody widely. I wonder if I ever went up in this font. This is not font. Um, the pulpit. It's a way up here, isn't it? I don't know if I came up here. I can't remember. See, it's a long time ago that I came here. That's a good and tall pulpit, isn't it? I wonder if that is up there. Somebody with a sword. Probably be in the booklet. Lovely ceiling. Wagon ceiling. Yeah, it looks like it's well cared for. Um, I think a lot of it would be arrows on the floor, look, so it's one way system. Um, lovely big organ, look how close I am to the pipes. Massive, isn't it? Oh, they got BT, look, BT hub there. It's amazing, they've probably got cameras watching everything you're doing here. We're spied on all the time now. Oh, well, you can't blame people. People nick stuff from churches. Um, some people lying down here in the ground. Church warden up there. Died in 1670. Little model of the church. I've got a feeling the camera's playing up a bit because... Um, it's looking a bit dark. It does that now and again. I have to adjust it. Carry a torch. I bet that isn't open. Carry a torch. No. No, they don't normally have the towers open anymore. Because, uh, not without an escort, I think. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Another little, let's see part of the organ. I expect this is locked. Someone will come in in a minute because what happens, all this is, um, all these sort of places are geared up to security. So I can only look. <sighs> lovely though, isn't it? It is lovely. Look at that ceiling up there. Coming up very clear. The camera's playing up today. I'll come back and take some pictures in a minute. Oh, look at that fantastic window up the other side. Look. That's a fantastic window. Jesus and the cross. Really beautiful, bright. Really lets in the light. Like I said, a very, very tall pulpit, that one. So you can, the vicar can really see everybody and they can hear him well, I expect. Especially imagine the organ behind playing when he's up there. The high altar with a rude screen. Lovely, strong rude screen. There's the, the leper window. A leper window, look. It's got everything here. Isn't it? What was this? <sighs> a Flemish stained glass panel. Date from the... Because I haven't got my glasses on. I think it says 15th century. The round doors were made in the Netherlands. <sighs> in the 16th century... Vicar Turner in, in um, 1838 to 96 brought them to this church 
from the continent in 1856 and had them fitted in the windows of the priest's vestry off the north side of the chancel. In 1984, they restored and mounted on this light box a gift from the late Marjorie Wilday in memory of her husband, Lawrence Charles Wilday. I'll take a picture of this um, <coughs> I'll take a picture it's a sort of eight roundels I think I'm just going to turn off for a minute and take some pictures.